Okay, welcome. Now I want to go for uh, the stereoscope <coughs> stereographic projection. We had with Corbusy, sunset, uh, <clears throat> sunrise, sunset, sunrise. We had our circle, space, time, space, time, space, time. And we had this uh, perspective projection, which went from night to space, with the preservation of uh, the uh, covering area. And uh, now we continue to make the, the, the other projection, this is a stereographic projection from space to time. And uh, this preserves the area. So we will go in detail to characterize uh, this projection. So um, we are with a gnomon with a perspective projection in bright sunlight. So and at uh, sunset, we go to the to the sky, not with the sun, but with the, not with the linearity of the sun. We go uh, with the circularity of the sky at night. So therefore we go from here to here, from uh, space to time. So when it works like this, horizon, we have the circularity of space at the sky. We have this point and our problem is make a line from time. Good. Um, <clears throat> with that we are uh, not with uh, Galileo or Bruno or Kepler, we are with uh, Ptolemy and we are with the Enlightenment of uh, the 18th and 19th uh, century. Good. So we are not with the Copernican plan, as I think uh, we experience for one hour twenty years now. That's just the worst of it. Good. The key problem with this is: so what what can we get from from speciality to make a proper step in time to get linearity? So if we have these uh, circles and project that. So the interesting thing is that the only thing what we can, can keep is if this is a, there's a circle, however it is on this circle, this will have a projected circle on the graph. I made a, I made a small program here. You see a circle on a sphere, which is the uh, speciality, projects. So this is what you preserve from space. What you see, what what you can see from space is the 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 uh, this angularity, the angles of uh, the circle. So this is what is preserved. So move it. This is no problem. It's very slow. Uh, in the cloud, I can't uh, change it to latitude. Let me see. There are, uh, there are YouTube's which show it uh, very uh, interesting. It has a little dirty code, but it's working and shows uh, how it works. So, like the complexity we developed here. Here it's uh, more complex than uh, it looks at the first glance. So what we what we preserve with this what this this example with the circle shows that we preserve the angles. So which means any point here preserves its angles. 
So, so we have the unity of all angles. So, which I think this is a description of what Leibniz called the moment, which has no parts. Because the, the, the problem is the moment that we preserve all angles. So, <clears throat> unity with the monads, and this is in mathematics, it's called the bounds, boundaries. There is a unity of all uh, angles. The problem is, this is always a consistency. So, as in a uh, trigonomon, um, where the stick all time collapsed at a single point in space, here all space uh, collapse in a single point in time. Because the problem is, the moment you expand this thing, if you're not just with the circles, you have distortions. And it's very, very uh, uh, funny, displayed in a, in a funny way with this, uh, this is YouTube. If you want to put that into a flat map, you have to cut it. And you can't get it flat. So, which means you're here and you have to cut it, which is called. So, and if you want to go in more details, you have to cut it again. And you have to cut it again. So, in an infinitesimal way. And this is called branching. So to get a straight line, it's a real problem. Yeah. And all arithmetics, all calculations, all computing is about getting straight lines in on flat line from out the the uh, circularity of space to get a proper step next step straight on flat ground and this problem is called branching and what you have is boundaries and uh, the unity of all angles so very abstract uh, concepts but i think it's interesting to to look at this because so here we have um, maps for example the dimaxion uh, map of uh, Buckminster Fuller which just cuts the planet of the oceans and keeps the uh, continent uh, connected but each of these triangles is a massive uh, distortion you have to go to infinity to small cutting of everything to get it straight. So here he stays on top of his map. There's a lot of geographic uh, uh, tools and functions in, in Mathematica available. You can look it up. But the interesting here is how to look at maps. And this is an interesting thing as well. So this is the branching, but you see these branches are 
which is very fascinating. We really like that, these times. But these are traces in time. Yeah, or we have the same with, with the fascinosum of the fractals or the cellular automata. This, for example, Mathematica has a lot of cellular of this stuff, very simple at hand. Uh, this, for example, is a line, the neat line of code, the need to, uh, to render this, uh, this pattern, which is a pattern of growth. So it's of time. So this is what I, I showed on this diagram when you're throwing a stone into water and then you have the synchronicity of the waves which takes space and then the time which cuts it so what we see with uh, with, with all these maps is that uh, yeah time, and then we see the development of time with all the maps this is called branch and the comp complication of how to look at or the how to see, what to see what your eyes the, the, the eyes of time so this is what I said all every line every graphic is a graphics is with the eye of time so you cut space because space is an auditive uh, entity for me so that's uh, that's it yeah. So what you get and you keep from space is the your boundaries to preserve the angles. So it's a unity of uh, all the angles. So it's always 330, and you keep that. This is a, a, a proportion. When you are a, there is a certain constellation where you uh, can keep the, uh, the the circles and the sphere in a certain where you can keep then uh, the, uh, the distances as well and, and make that uh, uh, circle that, uh, preservable. But to make things flat without distortion, it's not possible. You always have to cut, 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 cut space. So time cuts space. And uh, you have the eyes of time to see something. And you cut space all the time. And if you do uh, a, a, a straight line, this is a sequence of cuts to make it straight. Good. Um, as we had with the perspective drawing, the counterpart is construction. And in my um, uh, uh, reading, I think there are good reasons for that. It's, it's very surprising. So if we think this unity of angles, so the boundaries, and the bra branching, which is growing in time, <clears throat> uh, is how things work. Then the beginning of time is the origin, and uh, that's the gravity of space. That's interesting. Uh, Newton, for example, said that gravity is the skin of God. So I think with this perspective projection, gravity, if time goes in a, in a single line, gravity is the beginning of time, minus gravity is the end of time. That's here, expanded. First, the start and the end where everything is balanced. And you cut everything into dust. With branching. So to put to go for construction, for example, now take for example point one, two, three, four, five, one, two, five. You want to make a hanging chain as we do in construction. How to read that? I would say, as we have the branching here, we simply say beginning of time is here, end of time is here, 
where things are in balance with gravity. And I will show you, that's it. So I will show you how this works in code. The video. So we take these five points, the fix point one and point five, and we give very we fix it in x direction, but in y direction we give it a, a variable. So we give a, a certain strength or elasticity to the uh, to the connections of the points, and we put forces to point two, three, and four vertical with, with the gravity of 0.2 and no wind or horizontal movements. So this is gravity. Now we make equations. We simply say gravity equals point, this is 4.2, so Point 0.1 minus point 0.2 multiplied with the elasticity or the strength plus it's one vector to the preceding point, the other vector to the uh, succeeding point with the same elasticity. These two vectors should be equal gravity. We do it with the third point and with the fourth point as well, with their neighbors. So Mathematica, so this talks with the, to the ears of space. This is the quantum geometry, gives you these equations. And you see three equations, gravity on the left side, those. And then uh, here, zero, this is the coordinate the x, this is the, the x. And then you say in y, uh, it's uh, this variable y1, y3, 3, 4. So we have three variables, three equations. We can solve that. So we want to get the solution for y2, y3, y4, which meet these three equations. We solve that. Then we get the coordinates y2, y3, y4 which means we have these points, put that to the eyes of time, and we get the hanging object. If we put the gravity, it, it's to the gravity, but the strength uh, of uh, deflection, so if we take that as deflection, not as hanging, uh, put that to deflection, so the strength of uh, reinforcement, then we get this load. And uh, if we draw that in this direction, then we get uh, this enforcement as a new, as a move from uh, civil engineering. That's it. And I think finite elements, maybe a stroke, uh, and so on. It's just this. So it's 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 running toward the entropy. Always like this. Branching, flowing, growing like this fungus from the root towards the end, towards a, a finite balance. So this is a comprehensive version of this code. For example, here we can. Uh, Fix of these elements, and then you, know, you see what's working like this. Or in uh, 3D, this is a 2D version, 3D, same setup. You can look it up in a lecture last semester, last year. That's, I think, that's it. So, to summarize, yeah, if we are we are 
in, uh, in space, time, we say this is day, night. These are uh, <clears throat> these are the stories, and here are the dreams. The preservation here at day is the area, the angle. This is what we can trust in. So this is what we can learn from the prior uh, uh, setup we had uh, at this. Year. So to go from T S to S S uh, star S star the next uh, scale of uh, space. We have to trust the area. If we go to the next level of time, we have to trust the angles of uh, speciality. Area of chronology. Angle. So we have the perspective. Here we have a story of glasses. So these are the dreams, the last night, the area, these are the memories, the last This interesting is geometry. This is arithmetic, and the calculus and computers. This was numbers. This was y. And this is here. This is with uh, symbols, characters. That's it. Enough for a discussion. Thanks for watching. See you.